Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be taking a look at some questions that was asked prior to the video which we made which has to do with uh, the workflow for Marvelous Design Artist over to KeyShot. And one of the questions is, what about Clo? So what, if, what about if you're working with Clo, if the process is the same since Clo doesn't really have a button or a section where you can do your UVs? And the answer is simple. For UVs, all you have to do is make sure you have your model and your stuff selected and you can go over to display, go over to 2D patterns and show the UV guide. Now this is going to be your UV set and you can go ahead and position this how you want. Now if you get this out, the question else is how do you get this over to, you know, substance? It's actually the same process. So the same process like we talked about earlier is exactly the same. So you get the stuff, you get your animation running directly here so you can see. So once you get your animation running, the next thing which you need to do is to go over and export this out. So you can come over here, go to export, export this as the Alembic Ogawa, and then you should have this ready for use. Now, once you get this out, what we can do is to come through, go over to Substance Painter and assign a brand new material to this, or, you know, do your texturing here. So how we can do that texturing is pretty simple. So I'm just going to get this called dress, which is actually what we exported earlier and i'm just going to go ahead and import this directly here we also talked about this back face calling we said a whole lot of people will be having these issues and just in case you're having an issue like this how you can solve this is pretty simple go over here select the shader and switch to the pbr meta rough with alpha test next off go ahead and start texturing this texture this as much as you want and then you can go ahead and export the texture. So our texture here basically comprises of a couple of things. So just to run you through this, uh, for this depth which you saw here or which you're seeing here, it's actually projection. So the projection is exactly here. And if you want to know how you can do your projections, you can check that. Uh, link is going to be in the description. And there's going to be an end note so you can find that one out. And this is also a projection directly here. So I can turn this off and on uh, you can see that I think it's a bit slow because we're recording all right so you can turn it off and on if I just move this all the way to the back select this and position this properly you can also see that from here because I'm using the planar projection and you can see that here so with all of this done the next thing which you need to do is to go ahead and export this so if we go over to KeyShot now, you would notice that we can import this by simply going to import. I'm bringing in the dress alone because we don't want to bring in with these other ones. I'm bringing in the dress alone, select here, which has to do with a uh, deformable mesh and simply click on import. Now with this imported directly here, if we simply do a playback, you can see what we have here. I'm double clicking, go over to your material graph. If you want to see a much more extensive method of working with the material graph you should check out the previous video link is going to be in the description so you can find that one out then i'm going to simply drag in the texture which we're working with directly here and plug it over to the fuse and that way you will be able to have the texture here now if you're having issues with this texture it's quite simple we're just going to go ahead double click and switch this to uv and then you have the perfect texture or the texture that you actually made in substance. So you can load up the other maps. The, this is actually uh, the bump map. So you can load this one directly here as well. And with this one loaded, just make sure that it is also set to UV and normal is turned on. So that way you can get exactly what you actually, you know, texture directly in Substance Painter. So if you're making use of Clo or let's say you're making use of a uh, Marvelous Designer, this is how you can get this to work. So we'll go ahead and launch Mamoset. And especially for those asking how can you control the cameras and all that stuff. Yes. So you don't have that much camera, you know, um, freedom when you're working directly here. Except you get to import the camera. You don't really have all of that camera freedom here. So what you can do if you want this to exist in Mamoset. If we go ahead and fire up Mamoset, I'm just going to come through, file and import this model right in dress of abc open this up you can see what we have here i'm going to double click here then you can simply drag 
you know you can drag the texture and drop texture directly here or you can go ahead and just simply click and replace that texture where you want it to be now if you don't want any of this just simply turn this off if you don't want any of this just simply turn that off as well and you just get your basic texture so if you press the playback button you can see our deformable mesh is moving so if you want to add some uh camera movement to this now you can also see that we have the back face calling here to fix this just simply click and turn this off and you're going to have this as cool as it is so let's go ahead and load up that scene we're going to uh open and we're going to load the giveaway scene now you can find this giveaway scene in the description so you can use it and you know you can use it for whatever thing that you want next up which we need to do is just simply import that dress right here and we're just going to quickly you know load these things up again first of all let's play back this animation and see how it goes okay so what we would like to animate is we would like to animate this model walking and let's say the camera you know following this model so first things which you need to do is you may want to come through all right come over here click on this button so that you can start adding keyframes or you can simply click here to auto toggle the keyframe so this is automatically going to add keyframes for you all right so now i am in frame zero i'm just going to go ahead and position this properly so i have one frame here you can see that i'm going to position this at let's say uh there and maybe i'm going to zoom out a bit maybe i'm going to rotate this a bit maybe i'm going to move over to this part and just simply turn just to follow this you know follow the clot so if i press the playback button you can see we have our camera you know following our object and at any point in time you can always go over to the render and you can choose to see wireframes ton of wireframes if you want to catch more shadows less shadows hide stuff low stuff depending on what you want to get at the end of the day you can do all of this here now once you're done with this you can now come over here and with the capture you can simply you know export this out as a video file so that you can share this out or you know you can just simply play with this and get your desired result now if you have other maps like your emissions and all that stuff you can always come through and plug those maps directly here okay so now we have our emissive map and you can see that directly there all right so you can see our emission map directly there so depending on what you create if you have uh, several maps you can use that and i guess that's uh that's gonna be about it if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on the notification and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification so you don't miss the next video the minute it drops and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace